The one and only Xalophony here with the finale of September Structure Deck Showdown. We got there eventually, even though it's the finale. But welcome! We have Dinosaurs vs. Zombies. The classic matchup. I love this matchup. Warriors. Uh, yeah, I don't know Warriors. They, they didn't make it. They didn't make it. You had boss once. If I, it was hard for me to get over is all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so what? we already got some goofy things out here. So let's What's uh, this? Ultimate Gunductor versus Doom King. Who can get the out there first? Yeah, very much so. It's tough. Both decks are very capable of doing so. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. And of course, if you manage to pull Zombie World, I'm at a major disadvantage. Yeah, you won't be able to... You'd... I think my boss monster is a little stronger and can win a game faster. Um, but but your deck counters course. mine a little more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Mario is, of course, using the zombies in this scenario. I ended up choosing both of the decks that won and made it to the finals because I'm awesome. But, um, you know, people probably want to see me play dinosaurs. So Mario decided he'll play the zombies. And they're both two fairly easy decks, I think. So I don't think there's going to be any major skill gaps here that should dictate the uh, result. Nah, just look at the draw, mostly. Probably. All right, this could be a great card. Do we go for it? Is there a reason to go for it? Or do I just use this and get myself into a position quicker? I'm gonna hold on to this. And we'll special summon Gillisaurus. Now you can special summon something from your graveyard. Okay. Mask of Restrict. I don't think that uh, actually it does hurt this deck a little. It does, especially on the fact that you won't be able to tribute summon your ultimate conductor either. Well, he's not tribute summoned, I don't think. I yeah. know, but if I stop you if I get Zombie World out. True. Yeah, a I don't think it can be Tribute Summoned. Then again, I guess I would have never tried. Alright, um, I think we will go to battle. You are fighting with zombies. Zombies have notoriously low defense. We'll attack with Gillosaurus. Well, both low attack and low defense. Yeah, that one kind of, you know, is not the regular expectations from zombies. But he goes to the graveyard. You can add yourself a zombie monster from your deck to your hand. Yep. And uh, I think you know from our previous duels what the best card is. <laughs> yeah, the Uni Zombie. Correct. So go ahead, find him, bring him to your hand. And then when it yeah. comes to your turn, you can just start piling up the graveyard exactly how you wish. Well, it finally happened like you said, Zylo. What? The wireless mouse died on me in the middle of a video. I'm going to go grab the replacement one in the drawer right next to me. Give me a second. All right, you got this. You got this. There he is. Unizombie. And then if we'll just go. Ever, if they ever ban Unizombie, that would be detrimental to us. To zombie, zombie deck. decks? Yeah. Well, there's other ways to do that sort of stuff. Unizombie's just the easiest way. And you can put three copies in. And a tuner. Yep. So he's just a very good zombie card. I think that is where I will end my turn. Mm, yes. We're just chilling. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Uni Zombie. Very good. Activate. Let's uh, decrease a level. Sure. We don't have any ranks, so let's just decrease your level. Yeah, I don't have any extra deck. To be fair, I don't think there are any level 3 dinosaurs you would have put in your deck anyway. There is a level 3. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, there's like a level 3, three XE dino. It's is not there? good, oh, but he exists. I think? Yes, something like that. I know who's in your role play. Mm -hmm. uh, let's send you away. Overpowering I. Okay, that um, one you didn't necessarily need to do. Um, that's just when you I... want to send cards from your hand. I imagine you just made a simple mistake. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, obviously sending from deck. You can send stuff. Whatever you want. You can get Mizuki in there for some plays later. You can get the uh, Banshee in there to get your zombie world right now. Which is uh, probably I'm the ideal do. play. Yeah. Yeah. I was already looking for it when yep. you said it. Perfect. And that'll bring your zombie world right to the field, turning all of my dinosaurs into little zombies. All right. Tack it there, though. But the setup is good. Yep. So, I, while I don't have a field that strong of a field presence, I have locked you down, essentially. Theoretically, yes. You already have a mystical space siphon or something, don't you? Yes. 
Let's see. Ooh, that could Wanna be fun. Yes. Um, should I use it now? I suppose that would be the wisest play. Just in case that back row is scary. Okay. We'll do that. I will get rid of the secret blast. And then we will destroy zombie world and the middle card. Oh, good timing. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to make some attacks, I, I believe. This deck only has one zombie world, It too. does. Meaning, I, how do I bring out the... There are cards in the deck to put cards from your graveyard back into your deck. And you can bring out Doom King still. He just won't be overpowered with the zombie world. No, it's not that. You need... The best way is to do... That's the, the best Doom way, Doom yes. Though. Yeah, that Twin Twister definitely put me back in the advantage. So, I am attacking Gillisaurus into the Goblin Zombie. Alrighty. Put one of my banished zombies back into the deck. Yep. Put that right there. Very good. You get that effect off again. Um. Well, yeah, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, it's not the same play. I will say Uni Zombie's still a great card, and there's a lot of plays he can open up, but if you don't have, like, cards Ooh. in your hand to discard. Okay. Tug one's up. <laughs> yeah. Great choice. Excellent. Um, yeah, we'll just go for a battle oh, I here. Do need, need to figure out how to stop you fully, though. Yeah, like, I am just kind of sitting here with some power on the field. Um, that is... Yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, stop it a second time. So we're just going to have to keep monster control on the field. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. Huh, I can't tribute it right now. <laughs> Look at the field, Mario. Look at your back row. Oh, jeez. Well, I can still use it to attack yeah. there. Yeah, still can't take that Gillisaurus. Um, well, theoretically would. Survival of the fittest boosting its attack by... Uh, yeah, good choice. <laughs> Swap them out and get another search off. Fortunately, that's all I can do. Yep. And that's a permanent power increase. Yes. And he gets two attacks on monsters. Not that it's it would be relevant in this duel yet, but can be rather useful. Um, so we're going to attempt to go for the win here. Attack Goblin Zombie. The hand was a little weird, I will say. Yeah. I mean, structure decks. Yeah. Kind of wish you drew this hand when I was dueling, you're not going to lie. <laughs> I did have a bad hand in one of the games. But then yeah. another one of the games I had a really good hand. Where I was able yeah. to get Doom King out, like, real quick. To be fair, the fact that you had an answer for Zombie World probably... Yeah, to be fair, I, also like, to be fair, I didn't really get negatively affected by Zombie World, this duel. Yeah, I kind of just used power. You, uh... You I had Ultimate Conductor in my hand the whole game, but nothing ever hit Graveyard, so... Ah. thought yes. you would have let me, just for the sake of bringing it out. <laughs> let you what? <laughs> I destroy the Gilosaurus and get a little power. Well, I still would have needed two dinosaurs in the graveyard to do it. Mm. Yeah, otherwise I can't summon him. So if nothing's dying, then that's that. All right, I'll go second. Plus, if something ain't broke, why? You know, don't fix it. We use an unexpected die. That's. This will be an interesting field. Okay, we're gonna go for a Sabersaurus. We will then use a Rescue Rabbit. And we'll get Megala Smasher X's out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so powerful normal monsters just chilling out here, you know? Yeah. And yeah, I'm going to hold on to this card for in case of emergency. I'll end my turn there. You, yes. Oh, yeah, I forgot that part. Never mind. Yeah, you need to use them for something. <laughs> so I, think those are... I guess it's just an offensive play. Or ultimate conductor instantly true it is two dinos in my graveyard which i did struggle with last time okay let's set this card down 
though. If you have Ultimate Conductor already, I'm already dead. Well, I can promise you I don't currently have him, but I might be able to get him. Oh, that's a fun card as well, though. That also sounded really baity. I'm not gonna lie. Um, what can I do? We can definitely just... I surely don't have a bottom lit trap hole. Okay. If you promise, I'll use Fossil Dig. Alright, I'm just gonna activate this so it stops prompting me. Sure. Really good for you. Alright, we will add to my hand the awesome Dinosaur Searcher, so letting over after. Let's see, what'd you send? Okay. Nothing spectacular for you, but always a nice way to get Uni Zombie by just picking him out of the graveyard. Alright, so letting over after comes out, and he will do a little searching. Now there's two options. Oh. Okay. But I'm oh, if you go for the piercer, I'm dead, actually. Oh, uh, um, I don't know what piercer you're talking about, that being said. I know there is piercing dinosaurs, I don't know if there's one in this deck. Uh, there he is, I'm dead. I, I am so unsure of this right now, because I don't trust you whatsoever. But I'm going to go through with it anyway, because it's funny. Or it might just be Sad Mario, which happens. <laughs> Battle phase. The fact that uh, you're, uh, you can instantly destroy it. Yep. What's its effect? We're about to find out. Oh. Ah. Uh, would have loved to have that, Zylo. I would have Yeah, loved it would have been a nice wall. That. Yeah, now just good high attack points all across the board. Let's go for it. I think this dinosaur structure deck is just too consistent. Like, it has weird plays in it, but they're, they work. Oh. Like, I just sent two I things to the graveyard there. with that. Mm -hmm. well, I just oh. looked up Zylo, so the, so the, so this is actually a, a straight out copy of the original structure deck that people bought a three copy of, pay, basically paid only $30 to make to get a comp dinosaur deck that was I can high. see it yeah I remember everyone shouting that dinosaur was like the best budget deck and yeah considering the structure deck by itself plays like absolutely I can yeah 100 and if you're wondering what I have in my hand by the way mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not letting you win I'm not like playing bad it's the fact that it's a glow up bloom paladin of the cursed dragon and marionette might I yeah. needed that pyramid to get something rolling absolutely yeah is what it is. But yeah, just the fact that I use Rescue Rabbit to send Megalos Smashers to the graveyard, which let me get the Ultimate Conductor out. Like, there's weird synergy just in this deck. And then it has all the other standard structure deck nonsense. I even sent Uni Zombie to the grave, I realize. Yeah, but that's not always a bad thing. Like, if you can get a Mizuki in the graveyard, you pop him right back out. Don't even need to normal summon him. I, I think that's... I think that was the point of Neo Bug Ness is to hopefully send a Mizuki or Gozuki to the grave. Yeah, that would be even better. No, I mean, I love the card Neo Bug Nest in the deck. It didn't really get yeah, you any immediate gains, and it doesn't look like you're going to have time to reap any of the benefits. But yeah. Ned nah, does, nah. Because look, all I can do is this. I'll summon out the... Paladin of the Cursed Dragon. Alright. But since you don't... Any uh, yeah, no zombie, zombie world. world in fact, I can't just grab you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't just grab a zombie from your graveyard, which I would have grabbed one of your Megal Smashers right now, if all honesty. True. <laughs> Even all my monsters are banished though by my own hand. Mhm. Mm What's well, fine? Hey, you, can... you have a Tyrannal Infinity. Um. Yep. Let's see. Hmm. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, with 2,000 attack points. Uh, oh, do you have another survival of the fittest? No. It's a Quaking Mirror Force. Is it actually? Yes. I have no reason to lie to you in the position I'm in right now, so. 
<laughs> the power this deck has. And the fact that you were able to bring out that guy so fast. Yeah. I know you only have one of the uh, Soul Leading Over Raptor, but the luck to get him that quickly, though. Well, um, what did I do to get him? Oh, Fossil Dig. So, once again, it's just... In a normal oh, okay. dinosaur deck, you'd have three Soul Leading Over Raptors, three Fossil Digs. Of course, there's only one of each in here. Um, but yeah, that is exactly Wait, what it is. You if you want to know Xylo kind of don't have three Soul Leading Over Raptors. If you want to know why Xylo doesn't have three Soul Leading Over Raptors in the roleplay deck, it's, this it's is too one good. of the reasons why. It's instant ultimate it conductor as long as you're two turns into the game. One of the uh, one of the conversations we had just before starting up the new season was how do we nerf Xylo's dinosaur deck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a legitimate conversation we had. Yeah, just talking about a uh, roleplay thing we do on my other channel. And you know what? It plays a lot like this structure deck, funny enough. M maybe that's why I've won with it. Or have I? <laughs> maybe. I wish I had, like, a Mirror Force right now to stop you. I honestly do. Mm -hmm. Big weakness Actually, to Ultimate Conductor. Right now with the Lost yes. World? Um, yeah, Lost World doesn't protect that sort of thing. Especially if I don't have a the token you got on your side of the field. Yeah, the fact that you drew Ultimate Conductor right at the perfect point to stop my Playmaker. Oof. What do you mean? It was, I didn't not, draw it was not a good sign. I searched him. I mean, the second, the fact that you got him that turn, that turn. Sure. You got him out on the field. It was like the perfect thing to stop my. Uh, it was rather good. Yeah. From going Stopped off. you from making any plays. All right. Well, let's see if the zombies you, can have a chance. I don't think you have it. Let's do one I was more. Say, I don't think you have any other here. cards in your deck. I don't think you have any other cards in your deck that can, uh... Yeah, that's a rare thing Pyramid to ask Turtles for. Effect. Yeah, but Pyramid Turtles, you know, sets up your plays just like Soul Eating Over After would have set up my plays. Alright, Special Summon. We'll put out this boyo. And... He is now on the field. Um, I should have done this before, but terraforming. We'll get that. And we will play Lost World. I think we'll Lost world. summon another Megala Smasher. And we'll give you a little token. Okay. Just a mess with you. And for me to use later, more so. But that's really the extent of my stuff. Now keep in mind, Lost World is also another one of those catalysts to get the dinosaur deck moving. Yeah. Honestly, I think you might have just hurt me badly with that token. Well, yeah, it means you. It's pretty good for me. It means you can't target my dinosaurs, for one thing. Not that I I'm not imagine even talking, you're about to. I'm not even talking about that. Oh, okay. Let me see if this works. I want to see if this works or not. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, you can only attribute I zombie target. monsters with him. Okay, I was wondering because it says you can't, like, I can't target my own stuff. So, mm -hmm. I was wondering if that was going to stop me or not. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it only does that for dinosaurs. And I certainly don't turn you into dinosaurs. When a zombie arrives, let's see what's in your hand. Is it anything worth sending? I can mess with that token's level. Thank you for giving me a token, by the way. Yeah, sure. Uh, send something to the grave. Obviously, let's send a necrolled banshee. Very nice. Now everybody's a zombie. Including the token. Darn it. Hindsight. That is not a good play. <laughs> Yeah, because now I can't even use that token because it's not a dinosaur. Hmm. Big sad. Mm hmm. Not only that, I'll target. I'll mess with the level once more to discard another card. I discard yeah. the glow up bloom. Ah, he had it. Yeah, if you start with either of those in your opening hand and a way to get Uni Zombie, you're there. Mm hmm. And this is what I was afraid of happening. This is how the zombie deck does completely hard counter the dinosaurs. I have a negate. I have a way of stopping stuff. Yep. It's beautiful. Yeah. All I... right. Uh, let's... let's get this going then. Yeah, uh, unless I can break that monsters. zombie world. I don't know. Because even if he's 
send it be using the ultimate conductor's effect, he can come right back. Yeah. As long as, long as he's in a grave. But I can't summon ultimate conductor because these are all, uh... These are all zombies. Dinos. Uh, zombies. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I was let's saying, see even if you what's brought tonight. Them out and... I will... Yeah. To at least prep for a world where I might be able to do that. I don't think I have any uh, spell destruction monsters, unfortunately. Huh. Oh, because it's not on the field, I can't negate that effect. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to go for here. Obviously, the soul eating over after would be the, the first thought. But... Uh, it's kind of dead at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it lets me search. So it's not, but it also doesn't, like, win me the battle. So I guess it is going to still be the play. There's no better alternatives I see immediately. So we'll get him out. He'll get a search off. And now... Um, oh yeah, because of the token. Let's see. What is an answer here? We can bring out the big boy and let him sit. Well, no, I can't. <laughs> hmm. Is this the play? Hmm. This is a weird duel. Is this the play? This is the pl Oh, that's a weird play, but this is the play, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the play. How many times can I say it's the play? I'm going to get the classic ultimate Tyranno to my hand. Play. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to say play at the end. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go for that. If you would have said that at the beginning of the video, I would have asked the audience to keep track of how many times you say play. <laughs> right. Well, I only just noticed I was doing it. Anyway, waiting on you. Yeah. Hmm. So what is my next move? Because I'll lose some bartering chips if I do make this play. But I gotta play some sort of play. Alright, you set a card. Doom King's still chilling. Hmm. Let's see. And End yeah. He's just doing his thing. Alright, so that's right there. I guess I gotta go for it. So... Yeah. Why can I not tribute? Shouldn't be anything stopping me from tributing. Hmm. Is there uh, something stopping me from tributing? Wait, your own neither players can tribute summon monsters except zombie monsters, zombie world. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, that's hard countering me then. Okay. Yeah, I forgot because that's usually not a threat that comes up, but yeah. There it is. Usually I'm outed in different ways. I will battle. We'll just do what we can until we draw twin twisters. We attack okay, the uni zombie. Um... We attack the Jareg token. I think I can still lost world it, can I? I don't know. So let me do it on my own monsters before. Yes, I can. However, it's not massive. Um, but instead, we can send to the graveyard. How about Petit Tyrannodon? And that'll get me... <laughs> Let's see. Oh! Oh. Okay, so I should have kept him in my thing, but oh. that's fine. I have a move. Okay. Oh? I will bring out the Superconductor Tyranno. Now, Doom oh. King's just gonna come back. But... At least... Oh, and he can't attack this turn. Big sad. Uh, do I kill the token? I think so. Mm. It's been allowing me to actually use Zuni Zombie, so it's actually been a credible It threat. has been. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I'm gonna keep it there. So I'm just playing the waiting game, so I'd rather not lose my superconductor, the only thing that I have that can kind of save me here. Because you don't want me to get my banish effect. Exactly. I'm not trying to activate any effects out here. I'm trying to keep some power. And, uh, you know, wait it out. 
So let's try to make the moves nice and snappy. Just so people aren't sitting around waiting too long. Ooh, yeah. burial. That's real right, good for you. Turn my tube. Mm hmm. Alrighty. I was kind of hoping that was going to activate the uh, glow blooms since it was sending oh, no, from yeah. the banish to the graveyard. It does but... not. I knew it was like a 50 50 was going to work or not, but. Okay. Still worth a try. Yeah, worth a try. You're learning. All right, anything else? Or are you just going to pick off one of mine? Yeah. I'm going to summon the Shooting jo Doji. Nice. Activating its effect. I can banish two zombies. Draw like a Necro Banshee and Shirunui. Very nice. And get to activate this. Mm hmm. Banish one monster on the field or graveyard. Yeah, good you stuff. know I'm banishing Xylo. Oh, yeah. 100%. I would, I would take it easy and not banish it, give you a chance, but. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, the tournament has proven kindness does not exist in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Like I just gotta find another way now. And it wasn't a it wasn't a hard out anyway. It was like, oh cool, I can live against it a little bit with this card. That was good. Forcing your own effect, you got to banish me. There goes the soul leaning over after a very valuable tool in this war. I remember that's a reason why uh, vampires are often mixed into this deck. Mm. Because they get to activate a bunch of random effects so that you can always activate him. A lot of zombie cards activate a lot of effects, though. Mm hmm. Um, hmm. Well, I can't tribute, so there's real, really not a reason to use that card at all. And there's no reason to use any of those cards. Okay. Let's see. We're going to do this, and then I think we're going to be making a long term play. We're going to be playing a long game. Surprise, surprise. Kind of have to. Um, we're going to send another dinosaur to the graveyard. And this time it's just going to be a random dinosaur. Um, so we're going to send Stegocyber. Which actually could be fairly useful, but I don't intend on using him in that way. And my turn. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'll summon out the Gozuki. Very nice. Another use of Doom King. Yep, using that. Banish Negate the effect. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Yep, things Go ain't along. looking too hot. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, what do I send to the grave from that? From here. You have Mizuki. That's always a good shout. In the hand. Ah, uh, well, just pick something. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't think anything has a good effect, does it? Yeah, Mizuki, Gozuki, um, Yuniza, you've been through all the good cards, pretty much. Right. All the real good ones, at least. There's probably some interesting ones in there, but I think anything will give you some benefit. Yeah, I think I'll just send the, uh, this guy. Sure. Alright. Alright, and I can finally attack you directly, too. You're about to catch, I was about to catch up to you in the damage department. Mm-hmm. It's always ironic in these tournament duels. I always, I finally get the hand, the playable hands after the match has already been settled. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll pop that in the grave. Uh, of course. Lost right. Riley's normal. All right, end of turn. It's a weird duel. I, I, the funny part is like I have a chance, you know. And the fact that your own lost world is hurting you right now too. Uh huh. Hmm. All right, so. Let's do some math, shall we? Six. But, looking, hmm? Hmm, what's in the deck is the question. What is in the deck, that is the question. Do I go for the play while I might still have a chance? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. I will go to battle. I will attack the Jureg token. And I will use Lost World to send Miscellaneous Source to the graveyard. I... 
I just realized you can't activate miscellaneous source the second effect. Oh, I can't. Yeah, you're right. It is Banish Four Dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah, that was my that was my Hail Mary. Okay, so it's back to the waiting game, which is probably going to go against me here. So, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't destroy Gozuki. Uh, well, I was trying not to make this last forever. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, okay. I wanted to send the miscellaneous source to the graveyard, so obviously that's what I used my attack for. Hmm. I guess I'll set this card. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, Doom King just keeps attacking, even though, uh... Yeah, you're doing life point damage, at least. Yeah. Hmm. The question is, do you keep them... Do you keep banishing mo dinosaurs that are going to well, be... Well, yeah, I, I mean... I mean, yeah, it's, it's less cards in my deck, so that means I have a higher probability of getting something to get rid of Zombie World. That's the long-term play. It is what it is. It's not a great place to be, but... Hmm. Well, that's not very useful. <laughs> um, so since that's the case, do I just go for that? Um, yeah, I think I do. Because they're safe. Um, yeah. Just because I'm going to be doing okay if I do. Hmm. This is tough. <laughs> it is. It's like, you're hard countered right now. Yeah. I Like, I have a patient play or, like, a play that can gain me a little bit of yield. I'm going to make the patient play, but it doesn't, like, yeah, this, this minor facade I have could break at any moment. So we'll do that. To the graveyard goes the Sauropod Brachia. Main phase two. Yeah, can't use that. I don't think I have any spell destruction actually thinking about it. You might not. Let's you probably do. <laughs> sure. Finally allowing me to banish you. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. Actually, no, I'm not gonna banish that monster. Oh, it's even smarter. definitely not smarter oh that's that. gotta that's gotta stink yeah <laughs> there goes that chance tyranno infinity in hand by the way so i was about to come out with the six thousand attacker actually no if i banished uh six um monsters then it would have been up to a ten thousand um, i think no it would have been eight thousand and you had your gazuki in attack mode so but yeah well, it scapegoats now <laughs> yeah now scapegoat obviously well we all know what I'm going to do. We're going to do this. And to the graveyard goes... That was just a bunch of good cards left in the deck. I guess you, because you like to be tributed. Or you like to tribute. Alright. Let me see. What do I need for this guy? Uh, looking at your Synchro Monster. Yeah, it was a level yeah. 7. I thought it was level 8. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I would have been able to bring it out if the direct token was still level one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Still not what we're looking for. Ooh. Well. Okay. I will activate Painful Choice. And that will... Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to send more cards to the graveyard, let's be honest. So, that, that... That, that might be good. Um, that, and that. There you go. Pick one of those cards. They're all <laughs> they're all bad cards. So, yep. Uh, righty. Let's see. I guess there's no reason not to use this chew bone. Um, yeah, sure. We'll flop him right there. And Wait for me to get those tokens anyway. Oh yeah, sure. I give them to the opponent. Yeah, so it's just another monster to defend myself with. I think that's just both for more burn damage for Ultimate Conductor. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, we'll go for an attack. 
Mega Smash. That Chew Bone is a is one of those good cards that I found out for in the. <laughs> yeah. And Lost no. World goes off again. Yo, what if I win this duel? Um, we'll send away the Black Brachios. Really? Didn't want to do damage to me, huh? No, I, I, I want to get rid of Zombie World. This is the long con, Mario. First switch you to defense mode. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm waiting for a certain card, too, in all honesty. Yeah. Except I'm getting rid of so much every turn. But the life point is now in the danger zone. Danger zone. Danger zone. We're at 3,000 now. Alright, from the deck. Here you go, sir. 11 cards. Twin Twister's one of them. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't do that earlier, to be honest. That hurts me quite a bit. So what we're saying is I need to draw it this turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get this activate Doom King effect. Oh. It interesting. didn't let me. Okay. Let's just activate this. Monster Gate. Uh, I could tribute one monster. Yeah, make some more room for yourself. Mm hmm. I guess let's get rid of the one token. Alright. Alright. Oh, I would have loved, loved to get back my uh, Uni Zombie with this card, actually. <laughs> yeah. Alright, end of turn. Remember when I was saying heart of the cards, right? Yeah. Yo. Let's pop off. I activate Twin Twisters by sending the ultimate Tyranno into the graveyard, which allows me to get rid of Zombie World and another card. Excellent. Uh, metaverse, what a bait. I then use Burial from a different dimension to select Miscellaneousaurus and return it to my graveyard. I will activate said miscellaneousaurus banish oh i can only do four because i got rid of all my powerful monsters that's fine we'll just hit some random people because that's okay and that will allow me to bring out the evil swarm salamandra who i was saving i will then use um yeah sure why not use that to uh put another little thing on your field i'm surprised yes. my doom oh wait does it need to be a zombie effect going up yeah yes it does and that's why the zombie world combo makes him so good. I will then banish another monster. I will then banish another monster. There we go. What can I do now? I think... Hmm. That's not going to be massive. But let's just go for it. I summon Tyranno Infinity. 8,000 attack. Let's do this some isn't math. Kill. Uh, no, but I think I can kill. So, I can deal 6,400. Which does mean it's not a kill. So, let's dig for some more. I will play Fossil Excavation now that I can target dinosaurs in my graveyard. Lovely. And with that, I can grab the Soul Eating Overaptor. Well, you already know me. Wait, oh, yeah, his effect doesn't go off. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, nice try on that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, assuming if you did, you wouldn't be able to bring it out because that's all your zones filled. Yeah, that, that was the thing. Um, but still, this is great. So, let's just do it proper. Tyranno Infinity, attack Doom King. We'll let you hit Tristan. And then we'll just clean up as much as we can. Because it gets to go off. All right. Uh, let's see. Whoo! Spanish. Eh, that I guess the uh, this guy allows me to special summon. Mm-hmm. 
Fair enough. We'll use our final attack. Four. Escape Ghost. Leave him right there. And my turn. You served me well, Evil Swarm Salamandra. Doom King gets to activate his effect. And I will now activate Ojama Trio. Are you kidding me? You've been sitting on that for this whole time? For a, quite a while. It was pretty useless when your field was already full. And but the fact that as I said, <laughs> about to pop off once the pieces came into place. I've been planning this for a long time, Mario. Jeez. <laughs> the fact is, so for a long time, because your token was on the field, yep. and I couldn't target your monsters, I had this card called Zombie Necarize, mm -hmm. which I would have been able to try to take your Mega Will Smasher. But the thing is... During the last two turns, I wasn't allowed to play Doom King for some reason to banish your stuff. I wonder why that was. I forget why. It might be something with me being a normal monster. I'd rather not yeah. lose to a drama trio. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Um, normal summons. You're supposed to do that. While your opponent controls a token, you can't target monsters on the field with card effects except tokens. So that might have been it. Could I? It's a dinosaur. Oh, it just says. Well, no, that monster. that portion of it doesn't have to be dinosaur. Did you not have any monsters in your grave at that point? Then you must have not had any in your grave. <laughs> I know. Um, and at the very beginning, I didn't. But after, I realized the terrible position I was in. All of them. All of them to the graveyard. <laughs> I still can't believe you had an. You had your own burial from a different dimension. Um. What do you mean? Uh, the one that allowed you to return your banished facility. Oh yeah, obviously. The um, the deck does a lot of banishing, so... That makes sense. Normally, it's not a great card, because you want your guys to be banished so Tyranno Infinity gets strong. But you've taken out Miscellaneous Source, it's like, oh man, I was going to be fun with Tyranno Infinity. And to be fair, we never touched uh, the you know Ultimate Conductor in here. Um, but he was in those remaining nine cards as well. Oh man, Lost World clutching it out. I feel like I'm going to give myself a little bit of credit for the patience and big brain plays that went on there. Um, but, most importantly, dinosaurs win the day. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this rather long video. Um, yeah, that know, last duel was all the video. <laughs> it really was. Um, and hey, if you want to see another competition just like this, you let us know in the comments down below and we can bring it to you. Subscribe Tomorrow to the we... channel so you don't miss anything else. Tomorrow we're going to be uh, doing... Another extra structure deck video, and it's going to be a, a split of a deck that we didn't get to play with. Let's still yeah. look fun. I don't even know what I'm doing yet, so we'll see. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.